Hi, everyone. I'm Ronnie. And I'm Jessica. And you're listening to Clean With Me, the podcast where we walk you through cleaning your house. Hey, everybody. So today's episode, I'm going to do our normal maintenance cleaning walk walkthrough, but I'm going to give you a little survival guide for when you're sick <laughs> because it's only what the second week of school and we already have covid which is pretty much inevitable especially if you've got little little kids in school and my kids were I mean we went places don't get me wrong but we were kind of cooped up in the house for a lot of the summer because of how hot it was so not a whole lot of interaction with other kids so being exposed to the germs and everything, they, of course, they got sick right away. Now, I am not going to pretend like my house is super clean right now because nobody's house is if they're sick. I got it yesterday um, and the kids are sick, so they're home from school. Rosalie got like a, a really minor um, version of it because she's four, but Juliana, it kind of hit her harder. But this isn't my first rodeo, and there are ways that I minimize the mess whenever I am not feeling well. So these are my go-to like sick dinners and things I do when I'm sick, and then we're going to go ahead and do a maintenance cleaning. So before we get started, go ahead and light a candle, um, get ready for your clean, and then let's go ahead and do a laundry switch, get our machines running, move our clothes from the washer to the dryer and from the dryer to the laundry basket. Uh, when I am sick, I usually just do a load of towels if I get to the laundry. Sometimes I will just, you know, kind of put that aside. But laundry is a good thing to do when you're sick because you're bored, you're laying down. It depends on the level of sick. Obviously, if you're on your deathbed and you just feel terrible, you're probably not going to want to fold laundry. But if you're just laying up on the couch, you know, with your little sick person kit next to you, and you're bored just watching TV and you just don't want to get up and clean, maybe folding laundry is a good thing to do while you're just sitting there. I feel a little worse today than I did yesterday, so I'm probably not going to be doing laundry. I'm probably going to go to sleep after this, if I'm being honest. But uh, yesterday, when I was just kind of feeling blah and icky, I did do some folding and it kept me busy while I was watching my shows and I still was able to rest. Once you guys are done with your laundry switch, let's go ahead and start emptying the dishwasher. And while you guys are emptying and reloading the dishwasher, don't forget if there's anything that needs to be soaked. If there's anything that has really caked on, let's go ahead and put some hot water and soap in there while we're doing the rest of the dishes. And then get started on that empty reload run of the dishwasher. And just be working on that while I'm talking. So while you guys are doing the dishes, on the topic of dishes. Dishes are something that I don't want to do when I'm not sick. So when I'm sick, definitely don't really want to do dishes. And my husband does not, he's somebody that doesn't like using plastic utensils and stuff. So I don't, he thinks it's wasteful and it is, but um, there's a time and a place for him, okay? And sick, sickies, sick, sick kids in the house, sick moms, I definitely have some up in a cabinet. I have some plates and forks and I'm not judging you if you use them regularly. I probably would if it wasn't for my husband, just he, he just doesn't, he's not a fan. So, and he just likes using the other ones. But when I'm sick, I like having on hand um, some plastic utensils and uh, paper plates and stuff. And honestly, that's how I survived yesterday is I did put them out and I told the kids like, okay, we're going to use these plastic forks and stuff today. That way we don't have a bunch of things in the sink just, you know, getting more and more dirty and gross and then the the main reason I don't like doing the dishes when I'm sick is, especially if you're feeling nauseous, you don't want to, it just triggers my nausea. So paper plates and forks and stuff are good for that. And just keep working on those dishes while I'm talking. 
I do have a little sickie sitting here next to me. Are you feeling bad? Yes. Do you stay home from school? Yes. My Rosie isn't feeling good. And while you guys are working on those dishes, uh, this is what I made for dinner yesterday. Um, Definitely like to keep stuff on hand for just off days in general. Um, Keep something frozen that you can feed the kids for days you don't feel well. I mean, whether you're sick or just having an off day, it's good to have. And yesterday, we did have some frozen foods and stuff, but nothing sounded good. Nobody wanted to eat. Uh, Juliana was really bad yesterday, so she didn't want to eat, my six-year-old. So um, this is something I did end up making dinner tonight. I'm definitely not going to be able to make dinner at all. It's probably going to be a ramen noodle night. Which, funny story about that. It's not that uh, funny, but I went to take Juliana, my six-year-old, to the doctor so she can have a doctor's note, and that's how we got tested for COVID or whatever. And um, I was like, she asked if Juliana had eaten anything, and I was like, yeah, she had soup. And then she goes, actually, Juliana always like heckles me when I talk and corrects me. She goes, actually, it was ramen. <laughs> I mean, I didn't care because you know whatever but it was just funny that she corrected it i was trying to sound sound more put together by saying she had soup but anyway i just thought it was funny because the nurse saw the, my face and she was laughing um but anyway ramen is good if you're just not like feeling under the weather but it just it doesn't digest very easily and sometimes it upsets my stomach so I ended up making soup yesterday and it was a really 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 easy soup my cousin always um, taught me and my mom how to make it and basically it's like meat you make like meat meatloaf pretty much like you would meatloaf you mix like eggs uh, meat and seasoning in a bowl and I also throw some rice in there and then I make meatballs and it takes like five minutes tops you just kind of mush it all together and then in a pot you put like carrots um i i use corn and carrots you can use whatever vegetables you want and then beef broth and then um tomato tomato sauce a can of tomato sauce and then you put the little meatballs in there and just let it so you're only on your feet for like five ten minutes and then you just let it simmer and it's so good for when you're sick it takes like five, ten minutes to make. I could barely stand yesterday um, without like feeling terrible and I was able to make it. And there's not a lot of cleanup. There was like one bowl from where I mixed the meat and stuff and the pot that had the soup in it. That was it. So it was a lot easier on my stomach. And that's a fav- a favorite in our house even when nobody's sick, but it's just easy on your stomach. And just finish up uh, doing those dishes. If you are already done, go ahead and take the trash out and replace the liner. If you are not done, just keep working on them. And if you have kids, uh, you know that when kids are sick, if you give them Tylenol, when you give them Tylenol, usually they're they're kind of perky and running around depending on how bad the sickness is. Yesterday, you know, Juliana was feeling terrible when she woke up and then I gave her medicine and she was still running around the house doing crafts and stuff. Not as crazy as usual, but still but still well enough that she wanted to do something to keep her busy and make a mess. So I also usually lay up in the bed and a lot of this is common sense, but anyway, I usually kind of create, I guess you could call it like a nest for me and the kids. I because I want to, it. this is obviously my phase of life. My kids are a little older, so I'm able to do this. But it, if you have little babies or live alone, then this doesn't exactly apply to you. But I create, I basically, I muster up the energy to get everything I need, craft supplies for her, um, you know, 
water, liquids, medicine, and I put it by the bed. And then I just kind of lock everybody in the room, put some shows on for them. And then that way I can rest. They can rest. If you have little babies, you're going to want to nap when they nap and stuff because you have to still supervise a little better than that. But I'm a light enough sleeper even when I'm sick that if they're locked in the room with me, I can hear if they open the door. So that's how we survived. If you guys are done with your dishes, let's go ahead and start clearing countertops and starting with our disinfecting after we're done putting everything away. If you're still working on your dishes, that's fine, of course. Um, we all have different levels of dishes every day to day. Um, so, But if you are done, let's go ahead and just get all the trash, throw it away, start from one end of the kitchen to the other one, and then start putting things away where they go, miscellaneous things, uh, toasters, anything that is out, any appliances that are out on the counter that don't need to be. And especially if you're sick, disinfecting wipes are the way to go or disinfecting spray. Just make sure, of course, there's no fruit or food or anything out when you're spraying if you're using a spray. That's why I prefer the wipes because they don't get everywhere. And make sure you're disinfecting handles, light switches, high traffic areas. And just be working on your kitchen countertops and also your dining room table. Making sure to disinfect that as well. Another thing that I like to do when I'm sick that I always thought was really expensive until I started doing it is grocery delivery and or pickup. Again, this dip <laughs> this is stuff that I specifically do. You don't have to do everything like me. But I so I do grocery pickup a lot because I don't really like going to the grocery store. And Walmart has um, free delivery if it's three hours or more I think and then you just have to tip the driver and then if you're doing grocery pickup it's free and they actually aren't allowed to accept tips so we're not sick super often so I definitely get delivery whenever I I get delivery kind of a lot because it's not it's just, you just have to tip but um, I got up early because we go to sleep early and I was laying down. I ended up going back to sleep. But I, since my natural internal clock got me up early, I just did the free delivery um, for three or more hours. Usually it's not even that much. And then I just put my phone next to my head and it alerted me whenever the groceries were there. And I just made sure to get some medicine. I got some um you know, easy stuff for Juliana to snack on and Rosie to snack on. And then I got some stuff for my soup. And I mean, you can eat canned soup and stuff too, or just my kids are picky about that. And I know I keep going on and on about that soup, but another good thing about it, it's called albondigas, I think. But um, another good thing about it is uh, there's leftovers. Apologize, they're not at school today, so they're being really loud in the back bedroom. I try to tell them to be quiet. On the bright side, that means the medicine worked and they're feeling better. <laughs> um, so anyway, if you guys are done wiping down everything and putting everything away and uh, taking your trash out and replacing the liner, let's go ahead and do a spot sweep so we're not taking crumbs and spreading them throughout the house. Um, and I say spot sweep because you don't necessarily have to do a thorough sweep if you, um, I usually do that at the end of the episode. If you want to do a thorough sweep, if there's not a whole lot to sweep up, then you can do that. I just don't like to, if I'm doing some major wiping down and throwing crumbs on the ground, I like to just sweep that up. And then let's go ahead and move into the living room and... Uh, just do our normal picking up. Let's get our couch, which is the focal point of most of our rooms. Let's get our couch cushions nice. If you need to vacuum them quickly, you can do that. If you need to fluff your pillows, put your pillows vacuum, wipe down anything, make your couch look nice and pretty, um, blankets, all that good stuff. And then start from one end of the room to the next, picking up the floor, trash first, then moving on to miscellaneous and just picking everything up and then surfaces last. 
And then once we're done fixing the couch, vacuuming it, picking up, um, it's if there's sickness going on or not, it's good to disinfect. So just get a disinfecting wipe or spray and go ahead and disinfect all of the major areas like the um, light switches, door handles, stuff like that. And I know, uh, especially if you have younger children, everyone's going to get sick anyway. It's inevitable. My kids are, you know, wiping their nose, wiping it on me, whatever. They're, they sleep with me and everything still, even though they're big. So I 100% was going to get sick no matter what. But um, their dad, knock on wood, is still healthy. So, and it's just, might as well, you know, so disinfecting is never a bad thing but yeah that's my little sick survival guide uh definitely recommend the grocery delivery because you know a lot of times we're tempted to get food delivered and stuff but that is so much more expensive than just tipping the driver um for grocery delivery it's way more expensive the food's overpriced and then you're spending, you only get one meal and then the kids are complaining that they're hungry and they don't have any snacks. So if you don't have groceries, highly recommend that. That's my biggest pro tip. You guys probably already know, but you guys are probably still picking up your living area and cleaning it. Uh, If you are done already, do not forget to Uh, clean your floors, do a thorough sweep and mop of your floors and or vacuum. And if you're not sick, of course, and if uh, you are, then you could just do like a little spot sweep if you're feeling up to it. If not, sit back, relax, put your feet up, uh, watch your favorite shows in whatever nesting room you're in, uh, bed or whatever, get all huddled up in there with all of your supplies and fold some laundry if you're feeling up to it. That way, if some other things fall by the wayside and maybe your house gets a little messy, at least you're caught up on laundry. Um, And overall, rest, get some rest. But Obviously, there's different levels of sickness, and sometimes some of you might have even major issues that make you not feel well that aren't just a cold or COVID or the flu or something. Some of you are actually have serious health concerns and stuff. So if you can't do some of the stuff I'm talking about, I'm not, this is just in so it caters to people that aren't sick as well. Don't feel bad if you get behind when you're sick. We all do. These are just ways to help minimize it a little bit so you don't have as much on your plate. Thank you guys so much for listening. And as always, happy cleaning, guys.